Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout Nevada. We are back in Salt Lake City, and we've just gotten the first part of the power armor sort of done. Uh, now we need lots more stuff. We need three different things. We need that sealed helmet, we need uh, the radiation suit, and the gas suit, and I believe we have them all. So that should be quite interesting. But yeah, it's gonna... It's going to require a lot more running about. Um, let's see. Situation in the city. About the coffee table. Managed to find something suitable? Here's a great comic book magazine. Exactly what I need. I'll pay 40 for it. Agreed? Sure. Uh, okay. Oh, you gained some experience for the delivery. Uh, I've got... Oh, wait. About the coffee table. I've got another comic book. Sure. Nice experience. I've got the cat's paw. Exactly what I need. Oh, also 40. Okay. I wish I wouldn't get out of the uh, dialogue every time. Uh, okay. More comic book. There we go. That's quite nice. Okay. Good. That was easy XP. And extra money. Still nothing in the gallows. I forgot when they have the stuff at the gallows. Uh, don't talk to me. I need to get rid of some stuff, but these guys don't really have the money for it. Dun, 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 dun. Let's try these guys. We could also pick up a delivery of Nuka Cola and sell it somewhere, I suppose. But I don't know. Do I have anything here? Yes, I do. I have that filter, right? Yes, I've got energy cells. Let's put this in here for now. Uh, that's where my crowbar is. I've got that filter here. I've got lots of stuff here, including the irradiated Nuka Cola. Um, bu 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 nope. Nope. I was hoping I could sell stuff here, but uh, apparently not. Oh yeah, we could take the filter and climb up there in the slums. Let's see. The filter, please. Oh, yeah, that's the Bloody Mary. There we go. Let's go to the red exit so we can just go there immediately. And also, we can travel around a little bit just to make it morning. Uh, slums, I guess. Business center, Renaissance Square. Yeah, it's gotta be the slums. <clears throat> is that something we've left behind or is that something... Eh? What's with that smell? Okay, I'm leaving... Oh no, it's just this stuff here. Okay. So let's try climbing that area. Also, I don't know why this electrical board is here. Can you repair it? Uh-oh. You cannot repair that. Okay. And now we got irradiated. So that's nice. Because I was taking a shortcut. Alright, let's see what we can do about this. Because I think this is probably the good option. Do I need rope? Uh, the water drips and the fans. You can't even see the end of it. It's a heck of an artesian tower. Climbing the double will take a lot of it. Climb up. Oh, panoramic view. You gained one perception. Very nice. Look at this. Holy moly. That really is very high. It's very cool down there. Uh, panoramic view from the top of the tower temporarily sharpens your perception. Oh, temporarily. Okay, well, that's useful um oh but there's nothing here water and water hmm i thought i could repair this thing here but i guess not what's the point of this 
I'm sure that perception is going to go away. Hmm. Panorama. Okay. I don't really understand the point of this. I mean, it looks cool, but... The letters fell from the tower. Previously, it was part of artesian water. So, can I climb it? Shadow. Can I climb it somewhere? No. Doesn't look like it. I'm pressing shift. There's nothing there to do. Huh. Well, that sucks. Okay. I don't know if I'm missing something or not, but... Well, we still have nine perception. I mean, if... If we had... If we got a permanent increase in one perception that would be very much worth it but i don't feel like that's gonna be a, t a thing there's the s okay hmm it's a bit disappointing to be honest rug store Jareth. okay do you anything about provo's population Oh yes, it's an old story. The inhabitants of Provo were left uh, were like the Ku Klux Klan from before the war. At first, the sheriff used their bigotry and extremism for his own cause. He employed them to deal with certain undesirables, and when things improved, he got rid of them. Since then, those rednecks hate the city and its citizens. They consider us crooks. After a while, they just tur uh, turned to brigand uh, brigandage, with criminals of all sorts joining the ranks. The sheriff asked me to deal with those criminals. Oh? Well, it's no surprise. The rednecks have already robbed several caravans and even tried to sabotage the city. But the sheriff doesn't want to openly wage war against them. You see, to venture into the area, be on your guard and pay full attention to your surroundings. Oh. Wait. There are probably... Oh. <laughs> it changed while I was reading. You see, nobody knows much about Provo. There are probably many traps scattered around the place, waiting for an unwary target to set them off. The tactical situation is against the sheriff, that's for sure. Anyway, if you decide to venture into the area, be on your guard and pay full attention to your surroundings. Thanks. Any books? Tell me more. I happen to have a rare book in medicine. Uh, don't practice medicine. I don't want to be interested in a professional doctor. I've seen a more informational... I've never seen a more informational practical guide. How much? You know, at this point of my life, I don't value money as much as my own health. I have a heart condition. Ah, I need a specific medication for it, which is nowhere to be found in the city. And I wasn't able to find it uh, anywhere else. You say you need a cardiac medication? All right, if I find some, I'll bring it to you. All right, so we can, uh, we can certainly do that. So... Let's see if these guys are uh, playing nice now. Six city dweller. Hello. What looks like? Did you find her? Sorry, no luck so far. In a way, it feels so bad. Oh. Uh, which one is it? This one. I don't need to sneak for this. Patient has dysentery. He needs medication. Using skills alone is not enough. Okay. Well, what kind? I mean... I have painkillers, but I don't have... Well, I... No, that's anti-smoker. I don't have antibiotics or anything. But that's not going to help with dysentery. Hmm. Oh, there they are. Well, hi, I guess. Okay, so they're happy about the situation. Uh, okay, that's the train station. I suppose we can put the uh, computer into the train. Oh yeah, I can't get through here. Well, I have to go down to the sewers and go through there, I suppose. Use that. Bloop. It's a bit annoying that you have to do that every time. I don't suppose there's a shortcut, but I didn't see one. 
Alright. There is the train. We might level from this. Uh, check the train systems. Install the functional onboard computer. Ah, nice. You install the onboard computer and press the button in anticipation. The screen turns bright green. You stare at the message. System check for a few minutes. Then the screen finally uh, notifies you that the train stage uh, status is operational. Uh, check the train systems. Looks like the train is operational and ready to go. Okay. Nice, we've leveled up and we get a perk. Ah, I like that. Action boy, adrenaline rush, and we'll make a better criticals. Bonus rate of fire. This perk allows you to pull the trigger a little faster and still remain as accurate as before. That's really, really good. I might actually take that. Uh, fortune finder and agility. These are also pretty good. Healer. Yeah, let's take Mutate, because, you know, that's a good perk. <laughs> well, let's take Night Vision. Everyone always takes Night Vision. Sharpshooter. Uh, Smooth talk, a snake eater, speaker. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be bonus rate of fire. The range damage is really not very good, like I've explained before. Unless you take it right away at the beginning of the game and don't plan on playing till high levels. Because that perk is kind of useless then. Alright, bonus rate of fire. Yes, please. And we got quite a bit more skill points. But now, look at this. This only costs four. And the, and the aimed one, five. Which kind of also sucks. Because, uh, well, it doesn't necessarily. We can do one aimed attack and one normal attack per round now. Would be nice to get another uh, additional perk. I can't shoot that. I don't want to start the train just yet, I suppose. Let's save. 96. And see what happens if we start the train. Start the train. The train is ready to go, but you can't handle it alone. You will have to find an assistant. Okay. An assistant, I guess. Uh, let's get back then. But that was clearly very nice because one, we got rid of the weight of the computer and we leveled because it was 2000 XP. So lovely jobly. I want to continue making the power armor though. So I'm kind of thinking about just going back and collecting all of those um, helmets and everything that we need. Yeah. I'm very much thinking about doing that. What about this place? Have I checked this? Yes. And there's nothing there. Nothing! I need a drink. Ah. <clears throat> we could also... How much do we have? 182, that's not very good. We need to get rid of some of this stuff. Um, let's see about the drugstore here. Heart disease medicine. Unfortunately, I don't. And I would not advise you to resort to it. Who knows what side effects they might have acquired in the years after the Great War. Anyway, you have to look for them in bigger, cleaner cities like Las Vegas. Um... About the healthcare in the city? What do you want to talk about? About the sanitary conditions in the city. Where are they now? Can you tell? Well, can I tell? Every city of the wastelands has problems with healthcare. But the people manage to deal with them somehow, so most of them survive. What's happening in Salt Lake is complicated. On the one hand, the nature has given us a lot of water and a wonderful vocal plant. Uh, a vo vocal plant. Vocus plant. On the other, we are afraid to even approach the Great Salt Lake because of the danger of intoxication and irradiation. Intoxication? You mean it's toxic, not intoxicated? Well, I, I suppose, yeah. In addition, the Nuka Cola factory obviously adds to the problem. A complicated case. Okay, maybe you can clarify something on the subject? What do you want to talk about? How can you live in such a humid and smelly climate? Perhaps visitors have respiratory problems? That's right. 
One need, uh, one need to get used to the local conditions, but the body adapts over time. Most importantly, do not stick your nose where it doesn't belong. And where it does not? <laughs> In the north, there is a large radioactive area, a real cemetery. That was part of the Salt Lake City agglomeration of uh, in which a nuclear... Oh god, English here. A nuclear bomb were... Or where nuclear bombs were dropped during the war. Periodically, rains wash out the radioactive dirt into the Great Salt Lake. Fortunately, we're lucky with the climate. How so? Our landscape prevents most of the dangers. There are no harsh winds like in the deserts, and no fumes from heat. In addition, in local conditions, one plant has mutated. The water lily. It grows in the banks of the Great Salt Lake. In other cities, it's just a plant, but this one gives you a special kind of nutritious nuts. Well, that's why on the way here I saw people constantly chewing something. These are Vokas nuts. They're very dense. You have to chew them hard, otherwise the effect will be small. What is the effect exactly? These nuts remove radioactive elements from the body. Of course, this does not happen immediately. Radiation is excreted with sweat and urine during the day. This, uh, the effect is not very strong, but if you use Vokas regularly, the exposure level will come back to normal, more or less. Sounds like a very useful plant. Where to find it? You can buy nuts from me or in the Tin Angel. And if you want to collect them yourself, I suggest to wander through the uninhabited areas with a lot of dirty water. Vokas grows in rather unpleasant conditions. Just keep in mind that it uh, ripens twice a year, in spring and fall. At those times of the year, there are buckets of them lying on the shelves. Okay, thank you for telling me this. Um, it seems that the nuts with the ra uh, radioprotective effect are in widespread here, but people are still suffering. Why is it so? Vokas has a weak effect, especially compared to pre-war drugs. The benefits will come only when people take them by the handfuls and regularly. But even then, there are limitations. What stops the regular prophylactic? Well, oh, look at this. This is from our uh, Pip boy thing. Well, nuts only ripen twice a year, so regularity of application is difficult to achieve. Also, the body is not very happy with such a harsh food. I've noticed uh, res recently that the more people eat Vokas, the less beneficial the plant is. The body becomes oversaturated and a natural blockage kicks in. This is not a panacea for us, alas. I think I know how to solve this problem. Fortunately, I have plenty of scientific knowledge in chemistry. Are you serious? Oh, I'd love to chat with you over the lab table. So, uh, what do you want to propose, colleague? My professional secrets are expensive, I will tell you. I'll be very happy to share my knowledge with those who will be able to say, uh, use it for the benefit of the people. So... Basically, you're saying that we need to produce an extract from the nuts and take it intraven intravenously, not orally? Brilliant. Just brilliant. Uh, together with the pharmacist, you have developed a drug for the prevention of radiation sickness. This will be very useful for the entire city. Well, it seems the issue has been resolved. It also means that I will have something to do sitting by the campfire in my free time. Goodbye, colleague. Well, that was cool. Oh, the health care... About the filter for the artesian water tower, I found it. But how to start the tower? Is there anyone I can discuss this issue with? Well, with me, of course, because all people come here to me with a damn dysentery. Uh, I would have ensured that the tower is running. And what will you do afterwards? Sell water? If I had it my way, I would give the water away for free, but in our circumstances, I will have to act differently. First, it is necessary to pay a considerable amount to the guys who will fix everything and prepare the area for work. Then I need to hire guys for protection. Maybe I can ask the sheriff. We'll see. At least I wouldn't be jacking up prices, unlike the Nuka-Cola factory. For them, it's all about commerce. So the factory is also interested in buying this filter. Well, of course, but Mike Meyer words, if the factory becomes the sole owner of clean water, it'll be even worse than without any clean water at all. Why? A sanitary catastrophe is looming around the city, I can see that. No one can be sure that they will wake up uh, the next day after sleeping. If the city has clean water, people will start at each other's uh, throats. Uh, there will be serious conflicts. Wait, if the city has clean water, okay. sounds complicated. How much you can pay me for this filter? 5,000 as well as the 30% discount at my pharmacy for you. I can't offer more. I'll give you the filter for free. I'll think about your offer. Yeah, I'm... His... So the sheriff wants to sort of, I guess gift to everyone but so does he hmm i need to double check that um tell you something i was able to get a filter for the artesian tower can you tell me what to do then 
to me. Uh, our city has already problems. The ability to general what conflicts between the general population and the factory. If I give the filter to the city, the factory will suffer a serious loss. Um, where's the situation? Factory will seize the water supply, using it for business. Think about it and make a decision later. 10,000. Up to you. I don't know. He doesn't really elaborate. I'd rather give it to this guy for free. Because that's a good thing to do. Of course, that might mean that we don't get the car. Because that's expensive. Well, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'll give it to you for free. Thanks. Our city is saved now. But I can't let you go without a little reward. Here you go. He gives you a super stim pack and an ultra antidote. These are very expensive medicaments. I could sell them to the rich, but you may need them more. I won't say no to that. You gained 5,000 experience. You delivered the filter for Artesian Tower, uh, water tower, and significantly improved the living conditions of the local population. Well, hopefully. So, oh, that's the Ultra Antidote, most likely of military origin. I'm listening. About the healthcare. Sanitary conditions. Now it's calm. The pestilence seems to be over, but it is too early to draw final conclusions. People are less likely to get sick and suffer from intestinal infections. I hope it will continue like this. Okay. Excellent. He's got a first aid book, which is reasonably expensive. Uh, how much are these? Uh, reasonably expensive still. <clears> hmm. <throat> Disinfection. Oh, there's the... No, there's the medical pajamas. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure if I have all of those things for... Uh, thermal and air regime of the body before the war is given to patients after chemotherapy. Maybe that is a part of... Uh, needed for uh, the power armor. You will have to pay. Really? Huh. After I... Uh, Gave him the water filter for free. Huh. Okay. What's the next level? Uh, yeah. Quite a while still, but that's not bad. Level 15. Oh, man. Nine more levels to, uh, Sniper Perk. Hmm. Well, we could go say hello to the... To the, uh, Raiders, I suppose. Should I leave anything else here? Well, obviously this stuff. Because I can't seem to... Actually, let's try these guys if we can sell it here. What? I've just opened the damn doors! <laughs> what the hell? Okay, let's see. If he has anything we want. He's got... Ah, gas protection suit. Oh, this is different actually. Huh. I don't remember ever seeing this one. So, okay, I gotta remember, this guy has the gas protection suit. I hope he keeps it. Uh, that he doesn't change his inventory the next time around. Uh, so let's just get rid of some of this stuff. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Oh, might actually just buy the gas protection suit, I suppose. Um... Couple of sandwiches. A few mentats, which to be honest, I don't really need. I'm gonna keep one just in case, but don't really need the mentats. Uh, because we are at 10 intelligence. Okay, these sell as well. Why not? Just sell them. Okay, so this thing is very much expensive. Can I have a couple of these? I'm still carrying around the shotgun ammunition. And the buff out, I'm going to sell one. Don't really need that. I've got a lot of nightshade berries. How much do they go for? Not that much. 
Okay. Where's me money? 20,305. Holy moly. Okay, we need 604. Okay, that's not too bad. So we have that now. I'm going to keep that. And I'm sure you can get it somewhere else. Uh, but, you know. He's also got money. A super sledge, which is useless for us. Hunt, hunting the rifle. And nothing else. All right. We're going to put the gas protection suit in here. Into our... Uh... Can you actually wear this thing? No. Detective jumpsuit for workers engaged in dirty and stinky work. It is supplied with a gas mask, rubber boots, and removable glasses. Protects well from harmful fumes in the air and is very uncomfortable to use. Haven't we found this somewhere else? I don't know, we might have, and I might have just wasted that money, but oh well, that's okay. All right, so now we're going to go back to our vault, to Vault City, and look for all that stuff, you know, also in Reno and everywhere else. Or we might actually also stop at um, Provo District here and say hello to these guys. The district appears desolate. Better to watch out <laughs> to watch your back around here. Okay. Uh, I didn't want that. I wanted this. So it's morning. Okay. I'm sure there's lots of uh, lots of mines in every town. Oh, there's a guy there. Uh, you see a hillbilly looking after his flock with his dirty apron and his massive bare hands. He resembles an, ex an executioner. Oh, there's something there. Lovely. What the hell? Anti-personnel mine. Holy moly. It's a trap. Can I go in here? No. Yeah, I better, uh jam on the metal detector here. I want attention. I'm bored. So let's see. Redneck. The boss. Redneck, redneck. Okay. We'll see what we can do here. Nothing here. This is a fairly small area, so I'm kind of happy about that. Oh. This is probably where that guy lives. Go check it out. Uh, well, there's nothing in here. <laughs> Oops. Lovely. A lighter. Eh, not too bad, I suppose. Uh-oh. Hey, that chopper is running away from you. The metal that... Why is he running away from me? So you got me, huh? I ain't done nothing wrong. Just standing my Brahmins is all. And why the hell were you running away? Oh, uh, so you're not one of them Salt Lake fools. Well, then you better not be poking around here. Why not? Because down fools don't much appreciate these parts, and you better off not knowing why. Whatever. Alrighty then. I'll get back to my herd. Wait a second. Who lives in that big hotel? The doors are locked, but it's clearly inhabited. Listen, you really don't want to uh, uh, want to know, buddy. You better mind your own beeswax if you want my advice. Tell me right now, you sir. I'll give you a hundred bucks. Uh, why not tell me willingly? Come on, it'll stay between you and me. I'm. I'm not here to play hide and seek. I have to speak to a man in charge. All right, I'll tell you, but. What, that's gonna be your problem then. Salt Lake Outcasts live there. They are the desperate bunch and trust no one. If you really need to get in, come to the gate and ring the bell this way. One short, one long, and one short. The boss is in the back. Go straight to him. Don't talk to nobody else. Now leave me alone. Well, that's better. 
All right, so where's the bell? Uh, can I get in here? Yes, I can. Where is the bell? Maybe there's a bell on the gates? I don't see a bell anywhere else. Knock, knock. Someone remotely open the door after your secret bell ringing. Ah, okay. All right. Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as per usual. A big thank you to my patrons. I really do mean it. I say it every time, but I do mean thank you very much for supporting my channel. And um, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.